These glacial landscapes are constantly changing. Well, it's no secret that the majority of the world's glaciers are shrinking due to accelerated melt, but a new study has enabled scientists to get an idea of just where a lot of the meltwater is ending up, and it's not headed immediately to the oceans. It's collecting in glacial lakes. And while many lakes are glacier fed, such as the stunning Moraine Lake or Pato Lake in the Rocky Mountains, true glacial lakes collect in basins right next to glaciers themselves. And in the past 30 years, they've grown rapidly. So what we found over uh, a few decades since 1990 was that these lakes have increased in, in volume and in number by about 50% uh, globally and the amount of water stored in these lakes right now is is on the order of 156 cubic kilometers. A volume that Sugar says is roughly equivalent to 66 million Olympic swimming pools. Now the study, which is the first of its kind, has addressed many of the logistical challenges and hazards typically associated with glacier field work by using Earth observing satellite imagery, which has increased in quality and availability in recent years. This makes it possible to map out the vast majority of glacial lakes on the planet, giving us a more accurate sense of how they're changing, as well as of the potential catastrophic hazards that they could present to communities and infrastructure downstream. These lakes provide a, a pretty reliable source of water in the rivers, and so they actually can be leveraged for hydropower development, with the unfortunate caveat that if they should burst catastrophically, which they do from time to time, um, they could be quite devastating. Sugar says these so-called glacial lake outburst floods occur every year in areas where glacial lakes exist, with the greatest hazards threatening areas where communities are found immediately downstream, such as in high mountain Asia. And while the majority of Canada's glacial lakes exist in remote areas of the BC coastal range and high in the Arctic archipelago away from communities for the time being, this reality could rapidly change. Just because we have a, a good snapshot of what's happening now doesn't mean that that's going to be the same in, in five years. Climate change is um, rapidly changing alpine landscapes, and, uh, and so we need to be sort of constantly revisiting what we know about those, those places.